Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today I'm going to give you a little closer look at how I added the functionality of a modern car to the 67 Mustang. The 67 Mustang has had a lot of modernizations. It now has Sniper EFI, a PMU-16 from ECU Master that controls all the power outputs for the vast majority of the circuits of the car, and a lot of other little niceties like a uh, vintage air air conditioning system and some other features that you wouldn't have found until a much later car. With this comes some of the pains of lacking some of the intelligence of a more modern car. Newer cars, whether you notice it or not, prime the fuel system when you open the driver's side door. That can either be because of the driver's side door switch, a proximity sensor for a keyless fob system, or just actual entry systems when you sit down in the seat. But regardless, before you push the button or turn the key, the system needs time to bring the fuel pressure back up and be ready to start the engine. Now, with the 67 Mustang, this is even more important because the Sniper EFI is a throttle body fuel injection. So it's not injecting directly into the ports. So it needs to get the pressure up and squirt a little bit of fuel into the manifold so that it is that much easier to start. This takes about three seconds, which if I do it when the door first is opened is plenty of time. But if you're turning the key, it feels like an eternity to wait or you cranked for a few seconds before it starts because you have rushed the system and the fuel's not there yet. Now, to solve this problem, what I'm using is a delay on release relay, a diode, and my PMU-16. But you could accomplish the same thing with a fuse block if you were willing to make a few concessions. The PMU-16 simply gives me better control of programmability and the ability to run internal timers to do various functions. We'll take a look at that when we get to the software. So to start with, let's take a look at the general schematic of the circuit that we're working with. Looking at the diagram here, we have three main components at play to make this system work. We have the PMU-16, which represents your fuse block and relays or any other power control system. We then have the delay on off relay, which is a specialized relay, which will stay on for a period of time after the trigger is disengaged. Most relays disengage immediately. This one's configurable to stay on from zero to 15 minutes, and there's some that last days. It just depends on your application. I then have a diode in the system between the 12 volt power supply from the key switch and the 12 volt power supply from the door switch, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Now, the basic objective here is to allow the PMU and all of the systems affiliated with it to power off when the car is stationary and parked. When we open the door, we are going to trigger 12 volts to the trigger side of the timed relay, which will then allow the relay to turn on the PMU-16. The PMU-16, when it comes on, will engage its programming, which I will program to pre-run the systems that need to run, such as fuel priming, fuel injection, stereo, whatever I want. And then also know to turn that off when you turn the ignition switch back off. I'm also going to be able to put in some anti-theft functionality here by basically saying that the ignition system won't be engaged when the EFI is engaged. So the EFI can do its job, but if somebody were to open the door, trigger this, and then try to start the car by just shorting out the starting solenoid or something, it won't be able to start because the actual distributor and ignition coil and everything else won't be powered and functional. So that's a little bit of, a, of an anti-theft system in there too. Now, basically the problem I have is in order for the relay to be triggered, it needs 12 volts sent to the trigger side, but I need to do that from both the door and the on switch in the key but I need to make sure that I can keep the power from the door switch from backflowing down the circuit to the key and use that as an input in my PMU to make some other logical decisions. The way you go about doing this is with a diode. A diode is essentially a one directional flow control for electricity. And by putting that in here, I'm allowing electricity to flow out from my key on circuit, but not back into it. This allows my computer to take in the input of that key on circuit, look at that and decide if just the door was open and that's why the system got turned on, or if I've actually got a key in the ignition and that's another stage that's engaged and I need to keep the car running. 
Now the delay off relay will stay engaged for as long as there's 12 volts sent to that other trigger pin. And once I turn the key off, we'll stay on for the programmed amount of time. In this case, I have it configured for five minutes. So what that'll allow me to do is to complete any other post drive tasks I want with the PMU 16 before it shuts off and basically saves power. The nice part about this is after five minutes, everything related to the majority of the power system for the car is shut off. The only things not being shut off at this point will be things like the constant power to the stereo and stuff, which keep your programming because it's really annoying resetting stations. Now, this is just the basic wiring. Your system could look slightly different depending on what other systems you want integrated at what point. But let's go ahead and look at the programming for the PMU-16 and see how we can prevent it from repriming when we're getting out of the car. Looking at the PMU-16 software, we can see that we have a lot of stuff already built out. Now, most of these are the output control wires for various systems, and I've named them fairly logically. But what I'm having to create to work with this new wiring schematic is this timer, this switched input, and changing all of these to be dependent on this new function. Now, let's break these down into the three pieces. To start with, we have the switched positive I created, which is an analog input just checking for high. This is where the wire from the ignition key comes into. This, when the key is turned on, will read five volts or whatever I've got a program to, whatever its high focus is, and that tells it it's a true. It's now on, and I can do these functions. I then have a on timer, which is a timer I'm using to find out if the engine has been running recently, or at least the ignition switch was on recently. I also have this parent function, this main controller function, that contains the logic of everything needed to turn on these circuits. Inside here, we can see the basic founding logic is, if the ignition switch is on, we want the systems to be on, just like you would from any other system being controlled by the ignition switch. We also have this OR condition. And what this is saying is, well, if that's on, or it hasn't been on recently, but I'm turned on, which is the PMU, go ahead and do this. This will allow us to engage all of these systems when you open the door the first time, as if the key was on where applicable. Now we don't have to do it everywhere. We can choose to check the key switch position too but this gives us a general platform to start from. It's either or. Is my key switch on or did the door open for the first time? Now, what I can do with this is the door opens, the relay engages, turns on the PMU, the PMU springs to life for the first time that it knows of, and it now sets these flags. It will turn on the sniper EFI system, allow it to do its fuel prime, it will turn on the stereo, whatever else I want it to do, and wait. As soon as I turn on the key plus, that power will now flow to the relay to keep it engaged so the relay doesn't shut off to turn off the PMU. And that will come in here as an analog input telling me to go to my next stage of readiness. And this is where I will turn on the ignition system and everything else. The ignition system not coming on when the door opens is simply a security feature to keep the car from being stolen. It doesn't really serve any other particular purpose. Now, when I turn the ignition off, I'm going to trigger the timer. So the timer now starts running, and the second half of my logical function statement says, if the timer is running or has completed running, don't do these things. And the reason for that is, I want to be able to turn the key off and have everything in the car shut off when I go to get out, but the PMU is still actually alive. So if I turn the key back on, everything would spring right back to life. Now, the benefit to this is, because the PMU is still alive and this timer is still a check to be used, when I open the door to get out of the car, it will not re-engage for the first time and prime the fuel system and do all these other things. It'll still look, for all intents and purposes, as if the car is turned off when I get out, but really the PMU is still engaged for another few minutes until that timer expires on the relay and the whole system is shut off. At that point, everything's disengaged other than whatever I've got hooked to constant power, and so it won't drain my battery in any way. Hopefully, something about this system is useful to you. You don't have to try to emulate this system exactly, 
but doing something similar to this can really improve the feel of a classic car that's had modern features put on it like electronic fuel injection, um, high draw electric fans, or something like vintage air air conditioning systems. Putting in delay relays or putting in delay programming if you're fortunate enough to have a PMU-16 or similar system allows you to stage on your systems so that you don't have a huge load and a bunch of stuff springing to life as soon as you open the door or turn the key on for the first time. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.